All right, we're back with Coach Powers. We're doing an abbreviated of our uh, Sun Devil summer since we did a uh, silent film in your office about a month ago. Yeah. But, uh, technical difficulties happen. But yeah, it happens to the best of us. You know, when uh, we're here at Oceanside today, and I know you got your annual uh, Sun Devil Hockey Academy going on, and, and the first thing I noticed was competitiveness. Yeah. These guys are competitive just like your team is. Yeah, that's, that's what we want. We, we had a kind of a, a seminar yesterday on campus, and... Uh, uh, educated them on the benefits of college hockey, and then at the end, just told them what we wanted out here. And one of the one of the central themes of our program is always compete and have fun. You know, and 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 you're playing your best hockey when you're having fun and and just out here making plays. And and so all these teams are competing hard, and it's been a lot of fun. So it's nice to get the kids on the ice again. And I know some of your guys are helping out coaching these guys and yep. and mentoring basically. So yep. what's it like to uh, to see the guys again? I think it's good. It's good for for both sides, you know. Obviously, um, we want the guys that are here um, with uh, with uh, you know the academy playing here to, to experience and, and be able to bounce things off of our players and, and what it's like to play college hockey. Um, and it's good for our guys. They get a taste of what we go through, and um, <laughs> and it's good for their you know communication skills and everything that they do and, and, and their development. So I think they're having a lot of fun coaching these kids. You know, Coach, I know you guys had a big announcement here on August 2nd with the new uniforms, and a lot of people are saying uh, ASU's turned into the uh, Oregon of Oregon of college hockey, yeah. but uh, give us your opinion on uh, what you think of the new unis. Well, that's all Johnny. You know, I mean, he really, uh, you know, um, he, he's taken that, that bull by the horn and done a great job with it. You know, I think that they're clean, they're sharp, they're unique. Obviously, there's a lot of combinations. Um, Adidas was, was very helpful throughout the process, but we're happy with what we have and we're excited for a little bit of a new look and new feel. I think I know you uh, well enough to know that you wouldn't care if you played a game in practice jerseys, to be honest, no. but uh, it's got to give the guys some confidence uh, in new digs like that too, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's nice that we have the resources to be able to, to put our guys in, in that nice of, uh, of a look and a feel. And, and you know what they say, look good, feel good, play good. So. Um, you know, kids today, get, er, they're into that, that, that whole deal, and, and I know a lot of kids are very excited about what we're going to look like. You know, I know uh, your, your program has taken some changes in the locker room here, that things have been done, and I know your recruiting classes have been good, and one of the things that we missed out on was your trip to uh, the Czech Republic, and if you can just re recap that again for us and uh, how good that was. It was good. It was good. We went over, and, and uh, there's some great players over there, and, and again, it was it, when you go to a, a, a market that traditionally doesn't send kids to play college hockey, or very many, um, you know, it's all about educating on the benefits, not just ASU, but but how great of an opportunity playing college hockey is. And we're hoping that, that you know, the more exposure we give for our program, the more exposure, obviously, college hockey gets into uh, all types of markets all over the world. Well, less than a month away until you guys can officially get on the ice with them, but what What's been the talk this summer of the guys that are doing their own individual workouts and things like that? Are you happy with what you've been hearing? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, you really aren't allowed to, to monitor and, 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 and check up on them uh, as to what they do in the off season. But um, I can tell you just the eyeball test of guys that have all come back, they've really put in some work. And everybody looks really good that I've seen um, either here at the rink for this camp um, or just coming into the office to say hello when they came back. So we're, we're really pleased with where we are. We love our room. We love our makeup. Um, the freshmen are all excited to be here. They're good kids. So we're, we're just excited to get going. And this year you're going to have uh, a full roster plus some. So you're going to have some hard decisions, aren't you, coming down the road on, on game nights? Yeah, and that's, that's the name of the game. You, you want to you wanna have depth. You want to have competitiveness and practice every day and, and uh, a situation where you know, your fifth fifth line guys are, are, are realistically always pushing to get in, you know, to your uh, your bottom six and your bottom six are pushing to get into your top six and, and so on and so forth. And I think we're going to have a lot of competitive balance and, and uh, more than we've ever had, and it's going to be a battle to get in. When you have a roster like that, it's, uh, it's easy to say, man, you're going to dominate some games, but you may have the toughest uh, schedule in college hockey this year, so give yep. me a little uh, a recap of that as well as far as yeah, the schedule. Yeah, it's tough. We've, we, we've had a tough one every year, and, and we're proud of it. We're proud of it. We're not dodging anybody. We, we know we're not a, a national championship team yet probably, but um, uh, in order to get to that level, we, we feel like we have to play the schedule that we're playing. And 
Um, I think we're getting closer every day. You know, our guys that have been here have, have the experience, the legitimate experience that um, they've seen everything. They've literally seen everything <laughs> by this point, so they shouldn't be afraid or, or uh, intimidated by any situation or any environment. And uh, I think you'll, you'll start to see the benefits of that. And finally, we'll wrap it up with the, uh, the Desert Classic coming back again for you. I know you're excited about having that and the teams that are coming in for it, but give me a, a touch and let everybody know out there how they can get tickets and what they can do to support the Desert Classic. Yeah, I mean, it's all going to be out at Gila River through the Coyotes ticket office, and, and they're, I think they're going to help us promote it like they did when the first time we had the Desert Classic, and hopefully uh, we'll get, you know, I think for the Yale game on that Friday night, I think we got almost 5,000 people. So that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to, to get a good turnout. It's a tremendous field, and we, we're excited to, to get there. we got a lot to, to accomplish before then, though. And one of the benefits uh, with that this year is that you have the uh – the ability to play it between Christmas and New Year's, so you don't have that, um, I don't know if it's a distraction, but at least fighting for people under that, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the, the bowl's a little bit later, and, and uh, so I don't think there's going to be a, a, a competitive uh, distraction there at all. So, um, you know, we, we like the dates that it falls on. We got primetime um, games on a Friday and Saturday night, so we think that, that hopefully that'll help. Coach, I appreciate your time as always, and good luck the rest of the way, and we'll catch up to you in September. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it.